What's going on YouTube? Justin right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save the blobs for the iOS 14.3 RC or the release candidate for jailbreak purposes. Because as you probably know, Coolstar, the developer behind the ODC jailbreak, recommends that you stay on 14.3 or lower because these firmware are vulnerable and should be jailbreakable. And this is in the light of the event with the new exploit and jailbreak announced by the security researcher Pattern F. So this is actually a pretty good advice, especially since iOS 14.3 is no longer signed but the 14.3 RC or release candidate is still available. So if you check out here, 14.4 is currently signed and 14.3 is not, which means that you have absolutely no way to go to 14.3 even if you wanted to. So if you already updated the 14.4, or if you're on a lower version and you wanted to comply with what Coolstar said and to update the 14.3 or lower, you wouldn't be able to. Except that one beta of the 14.3 is still available and that's the RC. So what about that? Well, the RC or release candidate is still available, it will definitely get unsigned soon once Apple figures out what they did. But right now, as we speak, you can both save your blobs for 14.3 RC and you can also downgrade to it if you want to jailbreak in the future. And this applies for the A12, A13 and A14 devices as well. So you can do that on the PC and I have tutorials on how to do this on PC. You can check them in the description down below, but you can also do it if you're jailbroken already on an older version. So how you do it, for example, if you're jailbroken like me with check rain or if you're jailbroken on 13.5, 13.4 and so on but you want to be able to jump to 14.3 once Odyssey jailbreak gets updated. Well you can get from Cydia the DSS saver. It's available from OneCanon's repo at repo.onecanon.com. You go here to packages and the only one that interests you is basically TSS saver. It's this one here and once you get it it's going to install TSS saver. You press on it and it looks like this. Now of course with this one it's pretty easy to actually save your blobs. All you have to do is to press save blobs and make sure that everything here is identified correctly. It's going to take a few seconds and there you go, you press open link and aside from saving the 14.4 blobs, this should also save 14.3. So as you can see, 14.3 OTA here and this is basically what we needed, is the RC or the release candidate which still is signed and that's the blob. You can download it, you can use it anywhere you want, you can even save them to the uh, Google Drive if you want to or you can download all of them, which I highly recommend. But yeah, you can see that 14.3 is still signed at this moment and can still be saved. So that's actually a pretty good thing. You should definitely do it because if you don't, there is no way whatsoever for you to upgrade or downgrade in the future to go to 14.3. And trust me, we're on to something big. Once that exploit by pattern F gets released, Coolstar will be able to update the ODC jailbreak. And if you're not on the proper firmware, you will not be able to use it. So you should do this right now. Now, if you're on 8.12 and you're jailbroken, because you can only save blobs on 8.12 if you are, jailbroken, navigate to Cydia or Cilio or whatever you have and save your blobs for 14.3 so that you will be able to actually jump the 14.3 once the jailbreak is out. So how you do that? Well you may be able to use TSS saver but aside from that there is a better tool for A12 and A13 devices. You get it from ARX8X's repo here and then you go here to all packages and what interests you is system info. So system info here, this is a tweak. It works to save blobs directly from the device. You have to install it and once you install it you will be able to find a new tab here on the general about. Now as you can see there is the system info tab in there with serial numbers and so on. That public IP is basically a VPN so I don't really care. But anyways I'm not going to scroll down further because there are a lot of identifiers of the device that should be kept private. But you're going to be able to save the blobs directly from there even on A12 devices and that's basically the best way to do it directly on the device on A12. So yeah definitely save your blobs right now. iOS 14.3 is long unsigned. However, 14.3 RC or release candidate at the time I'm making this video is still available and this is your last chance to stay on a jailbreakable version. And if for some reason you're running iOS 14.4, definitely go back to 14.3 release candidate. Get the IPSW from IPSW.dev and downgrade using iTunes. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. This is some sort of preparation for Odyssey when it's going to get updated. It may take a while for it to be updated because the exploit is not available yet but definitely stay where Coolstar said because it's your last chance. Otherwise, in the future, you will not be able to do so. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.